Well, we know their lives changed in an instant when that wall of water out of nowhere leveled Waverly. 19 lives lost in Waverly and other in Hurricane Mills. Three years later, and after a lot of sweat and tears, the town is rebuilding, and today they will pause to remember the victims. Peyton Kennedy's on East Main Street with details about the new memorial that will be dedicated tomorrow, where all are invited. Yeah, Neil, a new memorial here nestled in the trees that line East Main Street. And this is sitting in the backyard of the former Waverly Junior High School. And it's really a reminder that there is progress that's being made, but still so much work that needs to be done. Students are still learning in temporary classrooms, and this community still needs a new junior high school and a new elementary school as well. This memorial dedication is happening tomorrow night, Saturday at 7 p.m. It's a time to remember those lives lost and also honor that progress that's being made in rebuilding while also preparing for the road ahead. Governor Bill Lee will be in attendance to speak at the ceremony as well as State Senator Kerry Roberts. His coverage area includes Humphreys County. And when he arrives, he will have just finished biking 100 miles from the Robertson County Courthouse in Springfield to the Humphreys County Courthouse here in Waverly. He rides with the names of the flood victims displayed on his bike handles and takes that time to reflect. Senator Roberts says he remembers how people from near and far showed up for the victims in their time of need, and he hopes that sense of support continues this weekend. Sometimes in Tennessee, we just need to let people know we love them. It may seem kind of an odd thing to do for somebody to come over there that has no connection, but trust me when I say it's something that will be valued by the people there, and it's something that they will appreciate. And right now you're taking a look at that new memorial where flowers have been placed. The memorial has the names and the ages of each of the victims, those ages ranging from just seven months to 67 years old. And in the center, a short message that says, in remembrance of the 20 individuals whose lives were lost in the flood and in recognition of the immense acts of courage and selflessness undertaken by so many during that time. Live in Waverly, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.